Yamunacharya also known as Alavandar and Periya Mudalir was a Vishistadvaita philosopher in Srirangam, Tamil Nadu, India. Ramanuja, one of the leaders of the Srivaishnava school sought to be his disciple. He was born in early 10th century CE and was the grandson of a Brahmin, Nathamuni. Nathamuni was a famed yogi who collected to the works of Tamil Ovars. Alavandar's birth star was Uttiradam. Early life He grew up learning Vedic texts from Rama Misra also known as Manakal Nambi and was skilled in Mimansa. Shravaishnavite legend relates this history. As a teenager he challenged the royal priest Akialvan of the Pandya king the name of the king is disputed. Akialvan, when he saw the age of the youth, asked sarcastically, Alavandara, meaning, has he come to rule me? He defeated Akialvan by proving through the accepted rules of logic that Akialvan's mother was barren, the king was not righteous and the queen unchaste. The king and queen, impressed that the boy has understood the shortcomings of logic, adopted him, the queen hailed the boy as Alavandhar, the savior. In other versions of the legend, he is given half the kingdom. There is no historical record to show his reign so it is possible that this happened in a smaller village rather than the kingdom of Pandya. After years of rule, Manakal Nambi tricked him into visiting the temple of Ranganatha. There, he had an epiphany and gave up the material duties of a king and became a sannyas and embracing Saranagati. He composed the Chattishloki and Stratra Ratna at that spot. Manakal Nambi handed over the reins of Natha Muni's school including the collected Divya Prabandha and renamed him Yamuna Muni or Yamunacharya. After the demise of Alavandar, Srirangam was led by the latter's son Tiruvarangan, however the place lacked the divine touch. According to a legend, Lord Ranganatha himself instructed Mahaprana to go to Kanshi and invite Ramanuja to Srirangam. The names of Parasara and Veda Vyasa, should be commemorated on the earth by giving it to a person worthy to bear it. Compose a commentary on Tiruvimazi of Namalvar the most prolific of Alvars. Compose a commentary on Upanishads, Vedanta Sutras and Bhagavad Gita. Works Alavandar, like Ramanuja, focused both on philosophical debates like Dvaita versus Advaita and Bhakti prayers and the works attributed to him are in Sanskrit although he codified the heritage of the Tamil Ovars. Works attributed to him are Chathusloki, a popular prayer in praise of Lakshmi Stotraratnam, a prayer in praise of Narayana Siddhatrayam, consisting of I Atmasiddhi E Samvitsiddhi and E Aswarasiddhi which describe the Vishistadvaita school of thought, describing a relation between the soul, God and the universe Agama Pramanya, stating the authority of Pancharatra Agama Maha Purusha Nirnayam, describing that the ultimate reality is the god goddess pair Sri and Narayana. Gitartha Sangraha, a commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. Nidhyam Mayavada Khandanam. 